much here, ma'am. It's a 911. This is all. We need help. We need help. There's an emergency. There's there's been a bad bad car wreck. There's there's people. There's blood. There's help. We need help. Can you send us help, please? Okay, ma'am. Calm down. Help is on the way. Everybody, we're out here on a scene of a deadly, what looks like fatal car crash. From what I'm seeing, I do see alcohol beverages on the floor. I see a few beer cans. I'm not sure if that's related to the crash in any way. We don't know for sure. We have not been informed at this moment. You don't know what like alcohol can really do. Like you see it in front of your eyes, like it's just crazy. This is definitely a big eye opener for a lot of people. Um, it should open you a lot. Don't pick up your phone. Don't drink. Um, you can obviously you see what happens. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. It can happen to anybody that you absolutely know at any given time. I mean, this may not be real, but it could happen at any given time. I mean, and it could be real. It's shocking. Very heartbreaking. Do you mind telling us a little bit about what's going on behind us or any details that you know at this moment? Yeah, right now uh, what we've got is uh, two vehicles going on uh, Wildcat. Uh, one of them, they both hit head on uh, and then they traveled in this opposite lane of travel. Uh, looks like the at-fault driver might be intoxicated right now, so okay. we're doing an intoxication uh, investigation as we speak. Right now, I'm getting ready to call you know one parent. Uh, their their uh, daughter was uh, severely injured. Uh, she is going to be tra she's being transported over to Driscoll Children's Hospital. Is your PSA is this Eden? Uh, is this uh, Mac Eden? Yes, this is Mac Eden. Okay, are you, are you the father to Mackenzie uh, Eden? Yes, sir. Uh, I have some uh, bad news. Uh, she was involved in a traffic accident over on Wildcat Drive. Uh, they were hit by a drunk driver. Uh, she's uh, in serious condition right now. She's being transported by medics to uh, Driscoll Children's Hospital. Hi, yes. I'm here to see Don Gunn. Uh, you're the mother of Colton? Yes. Okay, there was a serious accident in uh, Wildcat uh, about to 10 this morning involving a drunk driver. Your son, of course, I didn't have to tell you that uh, he was pronounced dead at the scene.
received a call from a police officer and was told you had been in an accident and taken to Driscoll Children's Hospital. It brought back a flood of memories. Never would I have imagined that the hospital in which you spent the first five weeks of life fighting to survive would be the same place that 18 years later you would take your last breath. I love you, Mom. That goes in my head. My, I like you a lot. Now that we would regret. I love you, Mom. Whereas I've always cherished hearing from you. And now I won't no longer take for granted. I love you too, son. Or words I wish I would have said. You completed my heart, and now it is shattered into a thousand billion pieces. My favorite thing in the whole world was to watch you shoot. You were such a natural. I was so proud of you. You, my son, were my number one and first place in my eyes. I love to sit and hear you play the guitar, even though you said you couldn't sing. I heard you, and yes, you could. <laughs> Mama knows best. She was involved with Kelly on TV and theater. She loved the technology aspects of this of these clubs and hoped to continue this interest in college. And she hoped to one day travel to Los Angeles and get involved in Hollywood. And I always told her to go for it. Because she only lived once. All the time she said I loved you to me. I never said it back. I never so I never showed you or told you as much as I did you too. And I loved you. But I do. And I always have. I'm sorry it took me this long to realize that I had a beautiful life with you. Thank you so much for being such an amazing mom. You taught me that the only thing that matters is family. Because in the end, they're the only ones that are really there for you. And that is by far the truest thing I have ever heard. I love you so much and I'm sorry that you had to see me like this. I wish there was a way for me to say how truly faithful I am for all the sacrifices you've made for me. I know that you all would go to the ends of the earth for me, and I truly take that for granted. I wish I could have given you grandchildren to love just as much as you love me. The time has come for the Lord to 